What's up everyone? So right here we've got an article by Fadeaway World. Five reasons why the Lakers will not win the title this year. LeBron James is not playing on a championship team. So we have Fadeaway World coming out of this title. So let's just get into it. So the Los Angeles Lakers have been the most disappointing team in the league this season after all. Uh, 16 and 15 record through 31 games, but through 32 games from the game they played this morning, uh, they are 16 and 16. It's simply not good enough, considering the amount of superstar talent on the roster. LeBron James, despite his age, is still an incredible player, and he still has AD by his side. This duo dominated in the 2020 season, and you know won the NBA title. So they have chemistry on the court, and you know playoff experience. Not to mention. LA has some big names like Russell Westbrook, Camelo Anthony, Dwight Howard, DeAndre Jordan, and some other key role players with head coach Frank Vogel at the helm returning to the squad and Talon Horton Tucker continuing to gain experience. The Lakers still have parts of the 2020 championship core intact. I'm not pretty sure because, you know, they traded away KCP, Kyle Kuzma, you know, they, they have lost a lot of players in the you know, in the, in the free agency, yet, yeah. And also Alex Caruso, not to mention. Yet the Lakers have played mediocre basketball at best and always seem to struggle uh, against good teams on a nightly basis. I mean, every game that they're playing right now is like a playoff game. I don't know what's going on with the Lakers. Surely, I mean, they, they should at least be win, be there about like 20 games. They have to win 20 games, not be like a 500 team like 16 and 16 as of this morning when I was watching the game they were 16 and 16 so um, looking at the Lakers play so far this year the current landscape of the league LA doesn't have enough to win the title this year so LA is my team and I'll support it to death but uh, this the way they started this season I don't know I'm not sure what the expectations are for the Lakers there are simply too many factors in play going against the Lakers and the team will not be able to overcome them uh, as currently constructed. You know, they traded for Russell Westbrook, who has, you know... We'll just get to that. We'll get to the Russell Westbrook situation next. But now, let's look at the, you know, in no particular order. LeBron, the, the first thing is, the first point is, number one, LeBron James is old, but so are his teammates. So, um, LeBron James is doing amazing, 37 years old. This was a lot of credit for that. You know, the King is averaging 25 points, 6.6 6 rebounds, 6.8 assists, while shooting 50.1% from the field. I mean, the, by, no, by no stretch, these are very good numbers. I mean, uh, these, are, these are numbers that many people die for, but LeBron James held to a different standard. These are extraordinary numbers uh, by, by LeBron, but, you know, by turning 37... Uh, that is a sign that LeBron James is showing like some lapses in his game. I mean, some some age father time is catching up to him, and uh, LeBron needs more help than ever in his career because you know father time always remains undefeated. And this is a point where you know um, NBA media keep trying to emphasize it. They try to make it as if LeBron James is 60 years old in basketball years. He can, he he has gray hair. He can't do anything. Yeah, but this man is still averaging 25 points per game. I know I mean, LeBron sexuals out there are going to, you know, say that, oh, oh, give give, give LeBron James some time. You, you, why, 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 are you, why are you going at the king? Because this guy is, you know, averaging 25 points per game. But you know, the whole situation, you can average 25 points per game, but your team is below 500. So that's an issue. So, uh, so, I mean, the Lakers don't have a consistent bailout option they could pull in previous seasons. As you can see, the way uh, LeBron carried the Cavs in the 2018 postseason, by far, I feel like the 28 postseason for LeBron was one of his greatest, despite, you know, being swept in the finals by the Golden State Warriors, led by, you know, Kevin Durant. I mean, that that, that playoff performance was damn near exemplary. Rather, the team needs to bail LeBron out at times, uh, you know, knowing that the king is, you know, going up there in age, he needs he needs teammates that can step up. And that's why, you know, Lon Anthony Davis, you know, or Russ Westbrook end up achieving, it really, really hampers the success for the Lakers. And also adding in Camelo Anthony, 37, going in 38, Dwight Howard, 36, DeAndre Jordan, 33, Russell Westbrook, 33, 
Quite simply, the Lakers cannot rely on any of these players. Even their shooters like Ewin Ellington, 34 years, Trevor Reza, 36, Ken Bezmo, 32, are not getting younger at all. So, LeBron, I mean, there's no not much help on him. Okay, you can see the star power and the experience, but you need that, you know. You, you need you need guys who can, you know, come in and just do that thing and bail out the, the team. So, that's what AD is for, but, you know, he has been not AD, not the AD that wanted to win the championship in 2020. And uh, it's very disappointing. So the Lakers. So the um, the next the next point is the Los Angeles Lakers now capture a top three seed in the West. So with the seventh seed in the West, the Lakers are clinging to a playoff seed at this stage. With nearly half halfway the season. I mean, the the popping gold it's, it's not looking good because you have teams coming in and you know all all those three stars. Uh, LeBron James, AD, and Russell Westbrook, you know, they need to, you know, figure out a way to, you know, at least crack the fifth seed because you, you can't go in the play-in play tournament again back-to-back. -back. So you have to leave the play-in tournament for teams like the Blazers, the Grizzlies, you know, those are the teams that, you know, belong there, you know, but not the Lakers. So uh, they're not going to make the top, top three seed because, you know, we've got the Golden State Warriors, and the uh, Phoenix Suns battling it out. Who's gonna win the first seed? I mean, it's pretty stacked in the West. Then you've got um, teams like you know the Nuggets, who are trying to scratch and claw every time. You've got you know the the Utah Jazz, who are you know at the helm. You know their previous first seed. They're trying to you know find their footing and be dominant. So you can see the Lakers. They're not gonna have a, like a top three seed this season. Then uh, on to the next point. You know we got. The competition around the Lakers is too around the league is too high, you know. You can see, um, KD he has a monster. He 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 has a monster game. Some point, you know, uh, you've got you know St Stephen Curry going in, and you know breaking the three point record just the other day. You've got um, you know, the Chris Paul led Phoenix Suns with you know Devin Booker right there, number two seed. Um, you've got the Milwaukee Bucks trying to run it back, back to back. You've got, you know, the Miami Heat trying to do their thing. And also, just to mention, the Chicago Bulls. So you can see um, all these teams are just gearing up to make it uh, to to the NBA Finals. So you see, like, in the West, it's pretty stacked. There are, like, legitimately, legitimately, like, five teams that can, you know, make the Finals. So uh, the Lakers, they're not looking good at this point because if they keep, you know, playing at this play, pace, you know, right now they have a 16 and 16 record, 16 wins, 16 losses. It's not good at all. Then we've got, you know, <laughs> they have another point. I mean, Russell Westbrook, the Russell Westbrook experiment has been a disaster. And I, unfortunately, I mean, Russell Westbrook this season has not helped his reputation as an individual star and does not impact on team success. The former MVP is averaging 19.5 points per game, 7.7 rebounds, 8.3 assists, 231 games. But he's only shooting 31% from three and 65% from the free throw line. So you can see, he has an inconsistent shooter that does not fit the that not, does not fit next with LeBron and AD. So the Westbrook experiment has been a disaster. And if the Lakers knew this from the jump, they would have made moves to trade for a CP3 when they had the chance in 2019. If they wanted to pull the trigger on CP3, they would. If they pull the trigger on a Westbrook trade, who? By far, he's earning forty-four million. He's gonna earn forty-seven million next season, and you you couldn't even get, you know, a a, a good point guard. You know, only guy you could get is uh, Russell Westbrook. I mean, it's it's it, you you're setting yourself up for failure. So when I saw that trade, okay, I'm a West. I, I love Russell Westbrook, but I don't see him, you know, succeeding with this Lakers squad. So Westbrook is erratic, and he'll always play the games his way so he offers little not little to nothing on defense because he he is getting all and gambles too much bringing in westbrook and losing alex caruso means la took a massive hit on their defense and uh that's an aspect that they're struggling in this year so uh, it is what it is that's what you expect from a russell westbrook he's my favorite player but not playing for the lakers he should play for the wizards the pistons those teams that you know are, are trash anyway so yeah
Then we got, you know, the last but not least, AD is always injured. So, I mean, AD, uh, AD just gets injured every time. I mean, even with a ton of factors going against the Lakers on the court, the biggest reason the Lakers will not win the NBA title is that Anthony Davis struggles to keep healthy. Davis has averaged 23 points per game, 9.9 rebounds, 2.9 assists, 1.2 steals, and 2.0 blocks this season with the Lakers. His numbers are solid as usual, but his impact has not been there. It might be because the big man is fearing to get hurt again, you know, after his injury. After his injury killed the Lakers' title chances last year, once again, LeBron is at AD. He's out for at least four weeks with an MCL sprain. So, I mean, more losing for the Lakers. Because if you defend on a Russell Westbrook to pick up the slack, he's not going to do it. Carmelo Anthony is old. I mean, they're the same draft class as LeBron James. With Davis worried about his body and not dominating on the court as the best big man in the league, the Lakers have found, have not found any success on the court. But with Davis out there in the lineup, the Lakers will probably struggle to make the postseason. So the big man is essentially the core for every Lakers, for everything the Los Angeles Lakers need on the floor. And LeBron James trusts AD to be the primary scorer, rebound, and defender on the team with Davis absent. An inconsistent Westbrook and an older LeBron James won't be enough, especially when you know Westbrook is uh, has poor shooting places and efficient and can't even get back on defense. That's a huge hit. So, uh, so those are one of the you know <laughs> the reasons. These are five major reasons why the Lakers will not win the 2020 NBA championship, including heavy competition. You know from everywhere. I mean, enemies are just you know surrounding the lake show in all all sides so um those are one of the those things that you know when i look at it just you know break as a lakers fan because i support this team and i really like this team i just want this team to get back to the finals and win the 18th championship but that's not gonna happen uh the way things are going right now because some teams are just gearing up and just you know they're just doing their thing right there so yeah so that's the article by fadeaway wall so if you guys like the you know the video like the video make sure you know check out fadeaway world they've got very good nba articles i like you know reading the articles and uh you know support your brother right subscribe to the channel turn on notification posts so that you never miss any new videos i'm dropping and uh with that being said man i'm out peace